Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I'm playing with plant pots again. I found this at the recycling centre and went, hmm, I like that. Look at those holes, look at those, all those pots put together. Uh, I have washed it, it's still a bit damp because I've only just washed it. You know, pre-thought on my paintings is never a option for me. Um, so, Join me as I play with paint and create magic. Alright, so what am I going to do with this? Well, as I was washing it, I realised that this one is completely ripped apart. Um, and, you know, somebody in some video, some comment some time ago told me that you know, if you want to make real art, you're supposed to put an uneven number of objects. It's more pleasing for the eye. So, thought, well, you know, I have actually played with that concept and I have found that it to be true. So, what I'm going to do is hack this up. Hacking seems to be the thing to do in sewing so why not do it in painting I like hacking hacking's fun and I'm literally hacking this up so I'm going to just get rid of that really destroyed one Whoop, destroying everything uh, and let's get that off there too now that I've got dirt all over my canvas. So I'm getting rid of this one into the recycling bin. I can go back to the recycle center. And let's clean off this canvas. Give it a quick wipe down. Uh, this canvas is a 16 by 20. And it is, I have put my little pins in the four corners just to keep it up off the bench. So, what colours are we using? We're going to use ultramarine blue, which is this one. We're going to use crimson red. You guys have been challenging me. Michelle, stop being a pain with pink. And crimson red and white make a very vibrant pink. So we're going to go with that. And then my favourite colour at the moment is, of course, our violet. So, none of these have got silicon in them at the moment. <clears throat> and I'm just going to... Pop these down onto the canvas, roughly, sort of vaguely, like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to work reasonably fast with this. And uh, so, if I kind of stop talking, it means I'm focusing because these are not perfectly flat the paint is not going to stay in them perfectly until I lift them up so I'm just going to have to work fast um, in addition to the colors I also have my house paint now my colors are all mixed up with flow troll and water they are Reeves paints except for the red uh, which is Reno art this is uh, spring paint from uh, Bunnings here in New Zealand and I use the green one the green one is a semi-gloss indoor outdoor acrylic house paint if you're in, a, in the states that's a latex paint for your translation <laughs> um, and I use flow troll and water but I also add some PVA glue that's white glue um, just because to get it down to the runniness that I need it to be at, 
that starts to break the paint apart. The binders don't seem to work very well anymore. So the PVA just gives it a bit more binding capacity. As you can see, it's quite runny. So I am just going to hope, cross my fingers, and hope that this works. I'm going to try and do sort of like a... Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get some paint into these pots and hope that they stay reasonably in, in there. We've got lots of paint. And then I'm just going to put some blue, some blue, some blue, and cross that diagonal. Then I'm going to put some purple, some purple, and some purple, across that diagonal. And then I'm going to just put some pink. A little bit in each of those but not much but mostly in the center and if you can I don't know if you can see these two are leaking quite dynamically so I'm gonna, that one seems to be holding its own reasonably well so I'm gonna lift these two up first and just allow that to flood out Okay, and then let's go for the center one. Eek! <laughs> There's so much paint on there already. All right. Happy dance. Now, there is no silicon in this, guys. But check out, let me zoom you in, the cells that have created themselves. All right. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a torching just to pop any air bubbles that are in there. So this is just for anyone that's new, this is just a butane um, lighter fluid kind of torch. And that red hasn't done much pinking, which is kind of bizarre. We are getting so many cells to say we've got no silicon. It's so bizarre. I love it. <laughs> Knocking things over. All right. Just gonna zoom you in. How cool is that? All right. So I'm going to try and get this area filled up a little bit, just taking it down to there, and then tip it to that corner. It looks like I'm going to lose quite a bit. You need a corner catcher. Huh, this is interesting. Let's go back to the other side. Hmm. 
interesting. Maybe I don't have as much paint on there as I thought I had. Just going to add some of this paint up onto here so that these beautiful cells around here have something to skid across as they spread rather than get rolled under off you go see Hmm, we have a big blank spot <laughs> through here. What's right about that? I'm not getting. And there's a really interesting shadow effect happening in here. I feel like there's probably some blue under the. deep down. I really like this piece through here. That is stunning. I'm seeing the red starting to develop through in here as well. I'm just going to... Sorry, I just had to take a photo of that area before I did anything else in case I lose <laughs> lose that. Just gonna go back through and get the air bubbles. Because there are quite a few in there. can't take my eyes off this piece here it's just stunning and I kind of have a feeling like if I do anything else I'm gonna ruin it but I feel like this gigantic hole in the middle is really drawing the eye away from the beauty and I'm that's frustrating. You know what? Let me just pause you for a moment while I get something. So this is a little pipette and it's kind of like a an eyedropper and you squeeze that and it sucks stuff up and then it even has measurements on the side how many mils um, and I just want to see if I suck some of the white. Oh, there's color under there.
Hmm. There is color under there. Painting, what would you like me to do? I actually almost feel like I need to have some silicon just on those just to add uh, here I was trying to do a painting without silicon so I've got my silicon and I'm just going to take a toothpick and just dip it in and just drop drop a little bit of silicon into some of these spots that have color underneath and what the silicon does is it kind of pushes pushes the color around pushes the top layer away it's never really guaranteed what it's going to do right under there there's a big lot of um, violet and the same in here and in there It's just adding a little bit of interest and breaking up some lines some in some places as well but always if you're doing this keep your um, wipe the end of your tip before you put it back in the oil so that wherever you're going in then has a clean bit of oil wow that is so solid violet it's almost black which is why it probably looks gray in the shadow there that's just phenomenal 
I really like some of these. These have come out really pretty. They're like little butterflies flittering along the top of the surface of the water. It just looked a bit messy there. It looked a bit dirty. So I just wanted to kind of give it something to actually be, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and as you'll see, they just keep growing as the, um, as the paint spreads. I would really like this one to lighten up a little bit more like these other ones. I'm just wondering if I put a little bit more Just give it some sort of shape. Oh, there we go. Starting to see it lighten in places where the white is. It's not going to be a beautiful. I've got to show you this one over here, guys. Let me just put this down. Look at these. I love this one here. That is just stunning. <laughs> I think I might take some close-ups of some of these. This It's just so pretty. But you know what? It's just given the piece that little bit more little bit of extra something it's not quite so jarringly solidly white here in the middle so is there anywhere else that would like to have another dot of oil this top corner is the only bit that's kind of talking to me go away buzzy fly I'm just gonna pop one dot in over there and see what it does so there you go I'm liking it and who would know that I used plant pots to paint this <laughs> Only you guys, because you've watched the video. Alright, so before I get you down, just need to check that all my corners and edges have paint on them. Looking good. Looking super, super duper good. And there's plenty of runoff underneath. So once I've got you down, I will we'll do some dipping. So I gotta get you down and show you this because this is just so pretty. And I gotta show it to you. Here we go. Where do we begin? I think I'm gonna start in over here. Look at this. This piece here now is just <sighs> makes me so happy. I quite like this. How oh, it looks like somebody dancing to me. If you have it that way. Look at that. It's 
Yeah. Look what happened. Does that sink a little dot? Each of these are just a single dot of silicon that I popped in. They just made the end of the toothpick damp with oil. It's so, so pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away and then I'm going to start a new video. Otherwise it's going to be super, super long. Um, so tomorrow's video will show you what I do with all this leftover paint uh, and uh, see what magic I create with that. So stay tuned and I will be back in just a few seconds to show you the end dry result of this painting. And here it is, all dry. I really, really am excited about parts of this. Um, so excited. The whole, whole composition, I can definitely see it up on someone's wall. Um, and I just love this section here. This whole dee 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 that is just yummy. And you've got a cool bit over here. And I'm really glad I did those dots of silicon. They have just come out so pretty. I love the way you've got all the colours in those ones there. They're just so cool. Yay! And this one here is just yum, 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 yum. To die for? No, not to die for. Don't say things like that. Unless you actually mean it. What are you willing to die for? And all the things that you've said in the past that it's to die for, which you actually wouldn't die for. Will you let all that go now? <laughs> I wonder how much of the so-called overeating, overdrinking has that causes death is actually to do with people saying, oh, that drink is to die for. Oh, that dessert, it's to die for. And their body goes, oh, you want me to eat this and die? Okay, I can do that for you. <laughs> I know it sounds bizarre, but like, what if that's actually how it works? Who knows? What do you know? Anyway, I love this. I love this a lot. And as you saw, there was a lot of leftovers on the ground after the um, video. So, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you what I did with those. Not just... Um, not just the actual doing, but the end result. Um, I'm gonna I make make some cabochons and some cards, and I'm actually gonna follow them through into the final end result for you, so you get to see the whole process all in one video. Yay! How does it get any better than that? All right, I adore you guys. Um, Make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to know when I'm going live. Um, join my uh, email on mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. You'll get a 24 hour warning. If you want to actually be able to come on those lives and talk to me rather than have to type at me, um, then join me on Patreon. It's only $10 a month and you get two... Um, two lives every month you get to come on and talk to me so how does it get any better than that you also get a free digital download let me know in the comments if you think this one should be one of them I think that this, at least this area here should be maybe I'll do one of that area I'll see all right guys thanks so much I adore you and I will see you in the next video which should be in the next 24 hours bye bye